video, we're going to continue with the demonstration of the kit bashing tools in 3D Coat by now covering the splines palette. It's almost identical to the model's palette in the sense that you can drag and drop a layer into the palette at any point in time, and 3D Coat will create an OBJ file for you, allow you to decimate the object if needed, as well as creating a thumbnail, which can also be done if you drag and drop or copy and paste in the Windows Explorer. The difference here is that not only will it replicate along a path that you create with the Curves tool, but, for instance, this scale that I created, I can drag it into the palette, and I will get a dialog here that allows me to orient the duplication along a single axis or multiple. I hit OK. Now I get a decimation dialog. I can adjust the amount of decimation, and there you have it. It created a new thumbnail for me. I don't need that uh, as it's a duplicate object, so I'll just right click and delete. Hide this layer of that individual scale. I also want to hide the wings so that we can see the area that we're going to be working on. And that is to recreate this object that I made in a similar fashion. And that is the spine set. If you have an object in the scene, you can hover over that object and adjust the point scale by right click and drag just as you would a brush radius but if you're out in 3D space you can't quite do that because it's going to navigate you could adjust it here but you won't see the point so the best option is to use your bracket keys on your keyboard I'm now going to turn symmetry center snap on I'll make sure I have symmetry turned on and generally, you'll see that little symmetry plane when you are close enough to the center. So we'll go ahead and scale. Okay, skipping forward just a bit. After some further tweaking, we can hit Apply or the Enter key. 3D Coat will voxelize the object for us. And once we've Clicked on another tool, we can see the finished results. Thereafter, we can go in and sculpt some randomness or further modify the form with the Pose tool or the Move tool. And that should conclude this demonstration of the Kibashi tool set using the Splines palette in 3D Code. Thank you for watching.